he was the anchorman many locals grew up watching every night on their TV. Steve Shore spent decades reporting Las Vegas news at multiple stations, but he started right here at Channel 13. And as we celebrate 65 years, 13 Action News anchor Todd Quinona shows you how Shore not only changed KTNV, but the Las Vegas community he loved so much. At News 13, Steve Shore is a community-minded journalist who can find the stories and bring them to you. He did a mix of everything. He was, you know, anything with the community, anything uh, where he can get involved and, and get out there and meet people. Steve Shore loved the Las Vegas community and the people he was able to help every single day. His son Darren says that his father and mother Holly moved the family out to Sin City in the early 1970s. A broadcaster already sure landed his first gig at Channel 13. For all the stories of the day to be seen, come on along. This is where you belong. This is where you belong. At KTNV, Short reported on some of the biggest stories of the 80s, including the deadly fires at the MGM Grand in Hilton. He was always in the middle of and always doing those big stories. Short also anchored at Channel 3 and Channel 8, but his true passion came when he left the anchor desk, serving the valley that became his home. He always wanted to help people. He put everybody before himself. It's just, you know, one of the, one of the ways that he was special. After his time in news, Sure went on to become the vice president of government affairs for Prime Cable, which later became Cox Cable. He was also a key founder of Nevada Child Seekers, a nonprofit that helps families of missing children. And he's always looking any way he can to better the community and uh, keep this community moving forward, helping children in any way possible. Children are his um, passion. Tonight, Joanne and dozens of families in need have the chance to celebrate the holiday at Chuck E. Cheese. I'm just happy to be around children my age and be able to get out and play. They ate, played, and received gifts. The event made possible through the help of a local nonprofit, sponsor moms, and sponsor dads. When you watch their faces while they win the tickets and get prizes and will get presents later on, I think that tells the entire story. Sure was also a big advocate of children's education. His son says one of the biggest honors of his father's life was when Clark County School District named an elementary school after him. He was so, so proud of having that happen. Shore's most recent role was executive vice president of government affairs at Fierro Communications. Darren says his dad will be remembered as a newsman, a family man, a child advocate, and a true community partner. People you can count on, on News 13. Todd Quinones, 13 Action News. Steve Shore passed away in November of last year. His story is just uh, one of many that make our station's history rich. Tune in all month for special coverage for our 65th anniversary. You can also watch all of our stories online at KTNV.com.